in this we will do case 2 where the object is placed beyond C so you can see here that I have drawn the concave mirror and the object is already placed beyond C the first ray is also drawn which is parallel to the principal axis and after reflection that means after striking from the concave mirror it will pass from the focus why it is passing from the focus because that was the rule 1 these are the arrows ok now for the second one for the second uh, ray the second ray will be passed from the focus this is the second ray which is passing from the focus and after reflection it will become parallel to the principal axis so this is the reflected ray and here the image it will be formed right so now the image is formed where between c and f you can see both the rays are intersected between c and f so what is the position of the image between c and f size of the image will be smaller than the object or you can write diminished nature it will be real and inverted because it is formed in front of the mirror an application will be concentrating light or heat coming from a finite source so this is for case 2 again i am going to discuss the same case that is object placed beyond c the reason is that in the last video uh, i have already drawn the object beyond c and the first ray as it is it will be parallel to the principal axis and after reflection it is going to pass from the focus this was the first ray with for the second ray you may have uh, confusion or uh, this question may arise in your mind that why cannot we pass the ray from the center of curvature yes of course we can pass so that's what i am going to do here the second ray is passed from the center of curvature and as you can see if this is the incident ray then after reflection it will retrace its path backward again both the rays meet between c and f and the image which is formed it is smaller than the object so everywhere whichever point you choose the image position will remain the same another uh, uh, this video i will show you how the rays will be passed from the pole let's continue this is the third possible uh, possibility where the ray can pass the second ray can pass from the pole also remember the first ray we are passing as it is parallel to the principal axis after reflection passing from the focus first case we have made the ray pass from the focus in the second time we made the ray pass from the center of curvature and third possibility i am showing you that it can be passed from the pole also this is an oblique ray coming toward the pole and after reflection from here it will pass obliquely again both the rays will intersect between c and f the lines may not be straight here but when you will do it with your scale and pencil you will find that the lines are straight and the image is formed exactly between c and f thank you